Hello, welcome to Econometrix Melody. In this tutorial, we'll deal with two-way line, two-way R line, two-way TS line, and two-way TSR line. So we will deal with line graph, two-way line graph, and two-way line graph, normal two-way line graph, and the time series line graph. Just prepare our data set for this tutorial. We'll use this data for this tutorial. And the first plot type is a line plot. So let us draw a line plot and we're taking the last variable is our income. This is our X variable. All the preceding variables are our Y variable. So the number of Y variables will be represented by the widget. These are the Y variables different color now let us uh, manipulate something we are going to a marker symbol we are going to ignore the marker symbol and we are going to draw the same plot by using the scatter plot and we are going to connect the scatter points by line and we must get the same result so by this time we are familiar with these options and if we combine this together we'll, we will not be able to see any differences they are the one and the same now these are the options, the very simple options, connect options and the other options. We have already covered these options in our previous videos. And uh, let us see some of the examples. So we run a regression, we predict the error term, and then we set a confidence interval for that error term, and then we again we set a confidence interval for this income hat so we use the income it's a dependent variable and we are setting it we predict the income hat and then we are going to setting it where we have set its interval by this formula and we are going to draw this relationship by the help of the line plot upper interval lower interval and this is the predicted value and income is our dependent variable and let us see the result so this is is the data is a random data or a hypothetical data so the linear estimate is a bad idea so we don't see that uh, our y variable fits within this prediction and let us draw them all however we, we have employed the line plot type to draw this graph and let us quickly move to the second plot type it's a range r line it stands for range of line and by the range by the name range we imagine the range type of variable so high and low is the range variable and the last variable is the x variable and we get a simple graph so we have used two line two, two plot types r line and line so this middle line this represents the close value so high low close these are the terms or these are the indicators of the stock market similarly let us move to another one and we are, we are using again the line plot and we're trying to, trying to replicate the same result by using different plot types and we make use of P style in order to bring uniformity in the colors. So line we use it P, P2 style and for the upper and lower high and low value we are using the same Q1 style and we must get the same result. And we should not be able to differentiate the both the results significantly. They are similar in almost every sense. These are the options for our line, so vertical, horizontal, connect, and which are which which, which they are very fairly very simple by now. Now let us move to the time series plot. TS stands for time series, and in order to draw time series plot. First of all, we need to declare a time variable. So our symbol number serves as a time time variable. Then after we need, we are going to plot the income across time, income and difference in income. First difference in income across time, and let us see what does it look like. So this is income, the first one, and this is the first difference of income. So the first difference of income helps us track the movement across every observations. Now let us see the other variation TS line we are going to draw the income and lag of income so lag of income simply offsets one observation and this this is very this is a simple one and the other one is the difference of income so let us see what's difference of income 
and what is the difference did we not cover it in the first one so first difference of income ts line in 1 to 30 i think this is the similar plot here and we have added a y line and let us plot the first difference by making use of area and we get the said it covers the area and this is again the first difference and what is our y line at zero so this is the first difference now let us combine them together and see it for ourselves and let us see another example to a ts line first difference and we're going to use make use of a scatter line to draw the same first difference graph and we want to see because our time variable is symbol number is our time variable we are going to draw the same graph by uh, scatter plot and what are we going to do we are going to use another plot type drop line drop line of the same first difference and similar number and we are going to actually get the stylus kind of graph so this is the result ps line first difference we get a line graph a scatter that helps us manipulate these scatter points and drop line will help us project from these scatter points this is a very very simple example and let us move to another plot type it is tsr line r stands for range so we are going to specify high low and our time variable is symbol number another plot type is ts line and we are going to get the line graph of close across time and let us see what kind of results we are going to get we are going to get a very simple high low above its high this is low and the middle one is the contribution of TS like close and we are going to replicate the same plot by using TS line only so we specify close so our by default symbol number sorry symbol yeah symbol number is our time variable represented on x axis now we have all these three variables is the y axis close high and low and we are making use of p styles so the upper bound and the lower bound we are make providing them same style and the mid value for the close we are going to use p2 style and we should get the same graph if we compare them together first one and the second one and this title will help us understand what we have used this is all about it and do we have any other thing so let us see this example h variable so ts line of first difference so let's plot the ts times is line plot of first difference of income variable this is the first difference and let us plot the second difference so times is line of second difference of income variable and let us plot the higher order difference fifth difference of the income variable and let us try to combine them together so whole three we get a blank in the third block so this is the third block we get blank at this point and the graphs are drawn so this is the first difference and these are the second difference and fifth difference respectively let us drop them all and this is all about this tutorial it's a time to thank you all for your precious time thank you very much thank you very much for your time econometrics melody